First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. And Shalom unto the Akwak, which is the women believers. Shalom unto you. And, um, you know, this devil got to pay, man. You know, the more that I read this scripture, the more I realize that he got to pay. Because the scripture said that, you know, that the Lord was a little mad, but he forwarded the affliction. All right. So hopefully this video will be edifying. Because I'm mad. You know, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to stay in the spirit and not get too fervent. You know. But I understand that the serpent got to do his job and he do it very well. But this should anger you, you know. So the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for, Re for Revelation 13 and 9. He that leadeth into captivity should go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. This is the faith and the patience of the saints. And it said... Woe unto him that give his neighbor drink that put the bottle to him and maketh him drunken also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Now, kidnapping, you know, a nation of people from the western and northern part of Africa, bringing us over here, beating their religion into us, you know, never telling us who we are. Uh, especially after the letting go of so-called slaves, you know, um, which was just a transfer over to being owned by the state instead of being owned by a slave owner. So now we became a slave to the banking families. And, um, you know, he never told you he he financed your destruction. And it says that, you know, he put the bottle to our lips, you know. That he may look on our nakedness. And nakedness is talking about our separation from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is the reason that we fell away. Because he never told us who we were. We had to find out through the Holy Spirit. I'm licking my lips a lot because my mouth dry as hell. Mm, 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 mm. But anyways, um... <laughs> This man got to pay for this, man. So he made the trap. He sit back with his little buddies and he laughs. He loved to see us in the, in the hood, you know, selling drugs and killing each other. And he's the one that put the drugs in the hood. He the one to give us the guns. He's the one that surrounds our neighborhood with liquor stores and abominable foods. The, the you know... The save a lots, the the um, what's another one? Um, damn, it's another one that I can't even think of right now. It escapes my mind, but anyways, you know how Satan do. But anyways, um, but he put these cheap ass grocery stores, you know, that that got the worst of the meats. All this meats is bad because it's GMOs, you know, but. You know, so I just I just sit and think about it because like, you know, when you watch the news and they call us thugs and monsters and savages, this is that putting, you know, the bottle to our lips because they finance our destruction with the music. All right. And they will pay you very good as long as you don't come back to your power. You know, that's why you got the scripture. You know, what is a man to sell his soul, you know? To gain the whole world and sell his soul, you know, I'm quoting, so bear with me. It was um Matthew 16 and 26. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Because I just want to read it correctly. <sighs> Damn. Goodness gracious, man. And of course, I want to move slow. But what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? 
And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? All right. Once you sell it, it ain't no coming back. All right. What are you going to give the Lord in return? But your life in pain. But, you know, so, you know, when you think about this scripture right here, you know, we turn the curses into a culture. But the so-called white man is the spearhead of it because you have to go to your enemy for one of all things that's in the curses. So anything that's perverse or going against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh he he'll pay it. He he will finance it. He financed this whack ass rap music. All right. I love R and B. That's my soul right there. But when you listen to the music, it's nothing but adultery. Just like rap. Rap is worse than R and B, but R and B is just as bad. Cause it's always talking about some adultery. Some of the greatest songs deals with adultery. All right. So as the scripture says, he know that he had but a short time. So when you think about that, he know that his time is short and he's trying to bring as many people down with him. He don't care about establishing the Lord's laws because, see, the people who run this world, they know that they're the devil. They know that they got a time. They know that they're time short. That's why the scripture said that. He come down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. So he's going to try to take as many people as he can with him. And then he's going to establish nothing but wickedness because he is the wicked. He's estranged from the womb. And when you go into the word estranged, it means to be profane, which means outside of the temple. He's contrary to the Lord ways. He was born that way. He was born to be the wicked. So. Most of our people are indoctrinated by his way, by the by the Babylon Jews philosophy. All right. One, four, four, call her law. You love you. How about shy? But, you know, but he made us naked. Because he never told us who we were, even after he so-called let us go, all right? You know, the slavery, 1865 or 8, one of them years, they so-called said, you know, slavery is abolished. But um, he subjugated us to the hoods, like I said. He financed the crack and the guns and the drugs and whatever. Anything that causes our downfall. Then he look at our nakedness and then he talks shit about us like, this man got to pay, man. And now he's so butthurt that he's trying to get away from his history. In Florida, they're trying to come with a law that you're not even allowed to speak about slavery or you'll be fined or in prison. Um, I, uh, I came across that a couple of weeks ago. All right. And I was just like, wow. So that's why this scripture came to me. So you did all these abominations to the children of Israel. You... You never told us who we were. You never, you know, gave us a fair chance. All right. And then you have the audacity to broadcast us on the news and make it seem like we just the worst people in the world. When we are a terror to ourselves, you are a terror to the world. All right. So, yeah, little Ray Ray and Tim Tim, they're going to be beefing. They probably one of them probably going to die. That's their beef. All right. That's the curses. I should be evil towards your brother. All right. So hoods, you know, Jake do. But you are the ones <laughs> that, you know, put us there. You are the ones that created all these wicked devices, you know, to to pull us down even more and separate us from our power. Now I said, thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let that foreskin be uncovered. So now you got the men of the Lord, you know, talking about you. You know, we find out who you are. All right. Just like in Scooby-Doo when, you know, at the end they take the mask off. We found out who you are. So now, you know, you don't want to live your history. Every time somebody talk about it, you get cringy. All right. But you want to talk about 9-11, but we can't talk about slavery. I wanted to say the other thing, but it might get a strike. But the thing is, is that, you know, so now you're shameful because you've been called out under your Roman Catholic, um, Roman Catholic, 
you know, all these branches of Christianity, you know, you've been trying to hide yourself under your religion. You've been found out. You Esau Edom, man. You the so-called white man going into slavery. And after that, no more. No more. Obadiah 1 and 18. All right. So your foreskin been uncovered. The scripture said he had made Esau bare. All right. And it said the cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee. So Yahweh Shai, as the scripture said, that he committed all, he committed all things unto his son. All right. So the, so Yahweh Shai is actually the one that's doing the judgments. And people talk about you ain't supposed to praise this man. Okay. But so now we drunk of the cup. You're going to have to drink of the cup. All right. And, and that's what you call fair. And I always say this for you so-called people who believe in God. And I'm talking about my people too, Israelites. That would be such an unjust God that these so-called white people can do all the things that they have done to us. And they never got to pay. They just never got to pay. They just went, they just went scot-free, rolled into the sunset. We in their kingdom right now. And then the kingdom of the most high, everybody going to be equal. Like that, that, that don't even make sense. All right. That don't even make sense. So this man have really destroyed everybody through his U.S. embassies and other countries. But I want to stick to the point. But it said, turn unto thee and shameful spewing should be on thy glory. So now what you thought was supposed to be glorious by you setting up this kingdom. How did you get this kingdom? You slaughtered. The Native American Indians, the Seminole Indians, and the Taino Indians, so-called, which consists of the Indian tribes and Latino tribes. Ephraim mainly, and Issachar, okay, and Texas and California, and that's, that's Issachar's land. And, you know, it's just sad that, I ain't going to say sad. It's funny that, you know, you really thought that you was going to win. And guess what? Before we came into the truth, we thought he was going to win too. But, you know, this man is going to pay. And that and that brings satisfaction to my soul. That really do. Because this man have done so much. And I'm going to end it on this scripture right here. And this is one thing that when you read this scripture right here, can't nobody say this ain't true. And he that still of a man and sell of him, or if he be found in his hand, he should surely be put to death. So that's all he got to look forward to. We are still found in his hand. All right. He still rule over us. Ain't none of us go back to our homeland. All right. As a whole. Yahweh Shai said he's going to bring us back. That's in that's prophetic. And that's what's about to happen real soon. We are still found in your hand. You're going to be put to death. And hey, the scriptures call it you reap what you sow. The world call it karma. All right. The Lord call it reap what you sow. The world call it karma. So at the end of the day, this is justified. And this is what you call justice. This is real justice. All right. But but I was just seeing here, you know, have a cook too. It's probably one of my favorite chapters. But that scripture in particular, it really, really highlight a lot of things. It just shows you how this man he he made you he ain't make you go astray, but he financed your go astrayness, if that's a word. He financed your go astrayness. And then he he sit backs and laugh like it's a fucking joke. All right. Because, see, he have the archaeologists. He have the resources to tell us, you know what? Hey, you know, you Israelites, right? No. But he called us everything but a child of God. All right. Proverbs and bywords, as I said, in the curses. But <sighs> I'm just happy that I didn't get too, um, too animated. So. Hopefully this video was edifying and shalom.